explosion is off the scale. And the thermonuclear effects are felt far beyond Bikini. 300 miles away on Likiep Atoll, 11-year-old Charles Domnik is just starting his school day. When the Bravo went off, the trees were shaking. The earth was moving. I mean, the building I was in was shaking. Everybody was scared. We were running around like crazy on the island. Where once there were three inhabitable islands. After Bravo, all that's left is a gaping void. It erupted with such dramatic effect that it sent radioactive fallout for thousands of miles across the Pacific. Bikini's original inhabitants have long since been relocated. But lethal nuclear fallout now starts dropping on the very islands they were moved to. The problem this time is especially acute because this entire area of the Pacific is subject to radiological fallout. Dozens suffer serious radiation sickness. Even to this day, many Marshall Islanders still report an unusually high incidence of cancers and other long-term illnesses. Ever since the Bravo explosion, there has been much debate about whether or not the Americans knew that inhabited islands would be affected by the fallout. The full truth may never be known, but the damage to the environment and to the local population is a graphic illustration of the shocking power of a thermonuclear device.